Hey guys, what is up, and I welcome you to a new episode of the League of Myths series. This episode, if you have not yet guessed, will be featuring the newest champion, Rek'Sai. So if you do end up enjoying it, please do not forget to throw in a like. Or if you have any cool Rek'Sai myths, definitely submit them below. But let's go into the first myth, the one I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. How does Vi, Nocturne, and even Shen ultimate interact with Rek'Sai's ultimate? So first we will start things off with Vi, an ultimate that seems to be almost impossible to stop. But Rek'Sai changes all of that. As you can see, as Rek'Sai charges off with her ultimate and Vi begins channeling hers, the Vi's ultimate instantly stops just as Rek'Sai pieces out. The next champion's ultimate we're testing is going to be Nocturne's, and this one is somewhat surprising. As I dash at the Rek'Sai as she flies away, you see the Nocturne kind of glitches, and then he instantly teleports about halfway across the map, which is somewhat close to the distance he would have chased her if it was possible. And on top of that, he automatically by himself walks towards the enemy Rek'Sai wherever she went to, without me having to actually issue the command. It is still questionable whether or not this is intentional or just a glitch. The next one we tested it with was of course Shen. And this one is fairly simple, as I begin channeling my ultimate, Shen will also channel his ultimate on me, and we see if he follows all the way. And as it happens, you can see that Shen does channel his ultimate on myself, and appears with me as I finally finish my ultimate. But we thought, what if Shen channels his ultimate sooner? Will he just randomly appear on the map about halfway through the travel distance of Rek'Sai's ultimate? And as we do that there as well, it seems like that is not the case, and no matter what, Shen does wait for Rek'Sai to fully finish her ultimate before he reappears. The second myth is asking, what happens if someone breaks Rek'Sai's tunnel as she is using it? So first we test it by her just simply right clicking on the tunnel. As the Azir finally decides to walk on top of the tunnel to destroy it, I go into it about halfway through. And I still make it to the other side even though he destroyed it about halfway through my duration. But what if he destroys the tunnel that I targeted with my ultimate? Same thing, he walks over the tunnel. And as he does that, I use my ultimate on the tunnel he walked over and he destroys it as I'm still busy channeling. But it doesn't seem like it disrupts it as long as I use it before it is actually destroyed. The third myth is asking, can Rek'Sai also detect the steps of enemy champions that are stealth? So when Rek'Sai is underground, she has a really cool ability to be able to pretty much detect the movement of enemy champions, even through the fog of war. But on top of that, she can also see the movement of enemy champions that are invisible or stealth. So for instance, Evelyn. And clearly you can see her exact movements. But just for testing purposes, we also tested it with Twitch's invisibility. And I can easily see where he is even though he is beside me or if he goes into the fog while he's invisible, completely giving away his position which is also pretty cool. Going to the fourth myth, can Rek'Sai tunnel underneath Azir's ultimate with E or ultimate? This is an ultimate that has been proven to pretty much stop almost anyone or anything passing through it. But you would think that Rek'Sai would be able to pass through it but unfortunately she also cannot even though she's going underground. But the neat thing is, she still ends up making a tunnel on the other side even though she technically doesn't actually go there. And the next thing is to test with her ultimate. I use it on a tunnel behind the soldiers of Azir's ultimate but this time I'm easily able to pass right through them. Take that Azir soldiers. And the final myth is asking, can Rek'Sai still get knocked up even while she is burrowed? So you wouldn't think that Rek'Sai could still be knocked up while she is burrowed, but as we tested with Janus Tornado, the answer is of course that she can. Even though you would expect it to either not be able to knock her up, or it does knock her up, but then it takes her out of the burrowed state. But knocking her up while she's above ground, you can see that the animation while she's in the air is completely different. And here's just a still image of the two different knockups. But just to further test it for fun, we decided to test it with Yasuo's ultimate as well. And as he knocks her up in the air, you see her animation looks somewhat odd because she's still in the animation of her being underground, but the answer is that she can be knocked up. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of League of Myths. If you did enjoy it, do not forget to throw in a like and share it with your friends. And you can also write down any myths you want me to test either underneath this video, on my Twitter, RedMercyLOL, or on my Facebook fan page, also RedMercyLOL. Definitely make sure to submit some more Rexam myths and I can make a part 2 of this as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy it and hope to see you for the next one. Peace!